call it this is a game of number and not just a game of number for any set of people to ever control power or gain power you don't negotiate it you take it by force welcome to politics on the wheel with jay and this is elite tv so one of you who happened to be one of the presidential candidates in the last election was talking about how nigeria got independent on the platter of gold but then since 1960 after nigeria got her independent we have not been able to achieve much development breaking the people the people might need to break the law so that they can break free apartheid was legal in south africa but it was breaking south africans until they broke it uh, slavery was legal in fact, not only was it legal slavery, it's also uh, ecclesiastical. It's in the Bible that you should respect your master. But when slavery was breaking people, people had to break the law of slavery. So if the Nigerian law keeps breaking the Nigerian people, the Nigerian people may need to break the part of the law that keeps them broken all the time. And that is why I keep advocating mobilization that do not come only during elections. In other serious countries, if elections are rigged, the person who rigged the election cannot walk away you get my point yeah. and so now it, it it is now obvious that we don't really care about our people now it is we all know that before the 2023 general election that nigeria economy was heading to a disaster people they suffer not this more suffer than the suffer see how people they cry food no day everybody understand that and that was the reason why most of the candidates proud to that election were making a lot of promises but one of the unholy promise made by the APC was the slowing down of the economy bringing more of taxation as well as cutting down the purchasing power of the people the purchasing power of the people and further slow down the economy let's widen the tax net those who are not as you heard there from the president uh during the campaign he has already achieved that and you can see how people are now trooping to streets to protest as a result of the high level of hunger starvation that has engulfed nigeria within the last eight years about our uh, things prices is going in the market now, we are not happy over it. We are, we are not happy over it. We don't get joy. Things price is, is too much. Today you buy something, tomorrow you went back to buy, it will still increase again. A bag of rice in January was sold for 50,000. But as we speak today, it's over 70,000. Bag. Would they buy rice? One bag. Nigerian rice, 50,000. Now 63,000. So, it don't go. A ton of Indomie, which was uh, sold for less than 8,000 a month ago, is now 12,000 naira. Not to talk about a bag of cement that was sold for 4,500 to 5,000 is now being sold for almost 8,000 naira as of today. And this is the reality that Nigerians are facing. And how can this be solved if the government are not recognizing all these indices facing them and then they are calling on the opposition that they are the ones sponsoring protests here and there in the country? Earlier in an interview, he made mention of uh, Peter Obi not leveraging upon what happened on the 4th of March 2023, where the Independent National Electoral Commission declared Bola Ahmed Tinubu the winner of the election, even when he never fulfilled the constitutional requirement to be declared as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And according to him, he said that Nigerians should have. Nigeria should have been shut down immediately. Peter Obi was not declared the election because from his own point of view, it was not held in 2023. I know there was no election, but whatever they believed took place. And they, whatever, they ought not to have stopped there. There ought to have been complete mobilization and the shutdown of the system. The system was ready for that shutdown. But then they said, hey, don't fight, don't fight. They're not going to get power on the platter of gold. So as you can hear him over there, now talking about 
you know, Peter will be shutting down the country. Now, it is good that Peter will be understand the fact that if he allowed the Nigerian people to storm the street, the 20 October 2020 scenario may repeat itself. And for that not to happen, probably, and also not to endanger his life, and his followers was the reason why he said, calm down, we'll get this from the court. But now that it is obvious to the blind and is very audible to the deaf that even our judicial system has been corrupt to the extent that what is red can now be interpreted as what is black. So what will happen in 2027? Many people are saying that His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi shouldn't run for the election in 2027. But eventually that he run for that election and a repetition of what happened in 2023 happens in 2027. Should we now say that he can now live, has the liberty to now hit the street and shut down the country? I'll see from uh, what Sore is saying is what is going on right now in Senegal. Uh, there was a democratic coup in Senegal when the president declared that the constitution has been suspended and the election will not be conducted on the 25th of February this year. And this has now necessitated the opposition party in Senegal to hit the street, demanding that there must be election. So this is what His uh, Excellency Mr. Peter B. lacked in the 2023 general election and looking at how uh, a fragile nigeria system is probably was the reason why he never engaged in that level but you can also see that even the apc at every little time when you see one or two people gathered they don't want to entertain it because they actually came into office through process of protest so therefore they understand that any form of protest will eventually send the message to nigerians that things are not actually working and they should remove them from power and that can be seen from what happened in mina and kano state 